Wizard on YouTube, back with another video, teaching how to create graphics from your mobile device. See, today I'm back with an exciting video. We're not going to be doing the regular cover arts, but we're doing a movie poster today, and it's going to be a fire one too. Before we even get into this video, I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, tap that like button. Man, leave a comment and tap that bell notification so y'all get notifications on new upcoming videos. This is about to be some heat. And also, check me out on Instagram. Without further ado, let's begin. All right, so you already know we into it. And first thing we do is hop in the Snapseed. And this is where I'm loading the image of one of the actors that is going to be on this poster. As you can see, I already edited some of the pictures. But I'm going to take you through a little course of how I edited the pictures. First, I added some HDR scape. And, you know, I just... um up the filter strength bringing down the saturation a little bit i'm just trying to pull some texture out and basically you know pull that contrast from tones you, you you already know what we're doing and the next thing i do is add some black and white effect i'm going to go to the uh film option and then you know i go from there and i take down the grain because i didn't need any grain in it so you know i just took it down you can already see it's coming together when you when we up that contrast bow you can really see the contrast contrasting you see them things thanging right there and then i hop into uh curves and you see that we're just playing with a little bit of the curves we're trying to get some of them colors to show we're trying to get some of them colors you know just to pop you feel me popping lock because we don't stop then we drop but we stay on top all right, so we hop out of Snapseed and then you know that we into studio. Loading the images that we're using. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, load the background. All images will be uh, linked in the description. Okay, and then I add this little texture uh, grunge background that I found. So you know we already have to um, add that in there. And then I add it in as an overlay using the blend um, tool bringing down the opacity so you know we can see it less just playing with it just trying to get a good variation all this stuff is guesswork but you know I always work yeah all right so now I'm just gonna add the image of the first actor we're using leading actor now we're just gonna Get him out of there. Got to get him out that background. See, I don't usually show the um, cutting and clipping process in my covers, but I just decided I was going to show it this one time so y'all know that, like, yo, it's really work we're doing, and then I got to do this, like, four more times. But, yeah. Boom, now we're going to add this little... Um, bridge over water background gonna put it back there using the blend tool we're gonna put it behind our actor right here try to get it in there fit it boom we're gonna set him up now we're just gonna go ahead and add our next actor cut him out Let's go ahead and get our next actor. Boom. And if y'all see the um, most recent version of this movie poster, you would know that he's no longer in the cover, uh, the poster. They had me take him off. Don't know why, but whatever. You know how that, that, that how, that's how that go. I, you know, executive producer making changes and stuff. Can't help it. But anyways... We're just going to put them in there just like that. Bam, bam, shabam. Right now, I was just playing with them. Trying to see at what angle I wanted, you know, them to be at. 
so, so we can really make this cover pop. But anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and cut him out now. Boom. Get him in there. Get him in there. Get him out of where. Get him out of here. Man, I get that girl out her underwear. <laughs> Yo. All right, and now we got our last actor right here. I'm just gonna cut him out. See what it's about. I be sniffing for the money like I'm using a snout. I ain't in for fame, I ain't in for the clout. Man, we making cover art, I should hush my mouth. <laughs> hey, so boom, you know, just playing with the positioning. We're gonna go ahead and add this black smoke, try to fit it in there. So we can, you know, try to, try to put some noise in there to take some, take some eyes off of the fact that they have no bodies. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it's just the upper, upper head that's, that's showing. But anyways, we're going to fade all of them into the cover just like that. Boom. Fixing them. Playing with some stuff. And now we're going to just bring back a little bit of that overlay from the beginning. Look at that. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and add the New Orleans sign background. Put it right here at the bottom. Clear up this empty space, you feel me? Just gonna go ahead and put that there. Using the blend tool, we're gonna put it in the multiply option. And then we're gonna take away that line right there. Boom. Doing a little bit more nudging. Yep. And we're just gonna click on that. Boom. Take away that so we can see the sign. Iron it. Get that sign looking a little bit darker by going into the adjust tool. We're gonna take down the exposure, bring up the contrast, bring up or leave the saturation. And then bring up that vignette. Them. minor changes and then we on to the next stage of this uh, poster creation all right so we hop out of studio and now we into adobe photoshop express nevertheless we're the best forget the rest you feel me all right then we gonna hop into adjustments once you hop into adjustments we're gonna add some minor effects we're just gonna look at that clarity. We're looking at that sharpen. And then we're also looking to get that reduced luminance done. We need those lines sharp, we need them to pop. After you do that, you just wanna go ahead and save your project. After this, I hopped into Snapseed. Where I load the image, hop in the tools using the grunge option or the grunge tool, taking down the texture strength, finding the appropriate style, end up going in the um, thousands, I remember. Oh, never mind then. It was 800 something, 800 something. But all right, so I add those effects and then I'm out of Snapseed. Now we're into Fonto, where I added the titling and such. 
loading the image into Fonto, we will now be able to add text. I'm trying to come up using the 3D tool, you know, I just manipulate the text, slant it a little bit, change the color, add in the text, um, names of all the actors, simple stuff, you know. So I just decided to sp speed it up. And then after doing all the names of the actors, I decided to add a little bit more and then boom, look at that. I just want to go ahead and save that out of Fonto. Now we're back into Photoshop Express. You can probably already guess what we're going to be getting into. You know that we have to add... vignette to bring out some more darker tones around the edges to give it a more cinematic effect is what we're aiming for just playing with the settings that vignette has to offer again this is our guesswork and it could change um, depending on the project people that you're using in the cover all types of things so yeah I thought about adding some grain. I don't think I actually went um when uh I don't think I actually like went through with it, but it was you know a thought. Playing with the behaves as well. Sometimes you just gotta experiment because sometimes you'll do something random to anything and it might turn out good. So. Every now and then, I'll just try something, but boom, that's the poster right there. Just want to come out of that, save it, and after that, you're done. If y'all like this video, if it was if it was entertaining, I need y'all to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button especially, leave a comment and tap that bell notification so you get notifications on new upcoming videos. Like I said in the beginning, follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Y'all have a good one, and I'm out.